Yeah, so let's let's dive in, right? I was an advisor in 2015, right? This is when I started Burkham Financial Group. And I knew that like the top of the year is when my, my state registration at the time was gonna kick in, right? So I waited until the end of December to kind of make the announcement to the wirehouse, to the brokerage to say, hey, I'm not gonna be any here anymore and I'm gonna be starting my own firm. A lot of advisors are about to do that. For, for them, what are some things that they should think about? It's filing their ADV, like what things practically should they be thinking about as they get ready to take that leap? Yeah, I, I always start with, with two pretty simple practice pointers. Um, first is if you wanna go independent, um, go get a co- compliance consultant, right? You, you need to go out and find someone that's done this because as smart as you are and as organized and as thorough and um, methodical as you might be with, when it comes to sort of project planning or managing any sort of task, um, there's so much value in having somebody just kind of hold your hand and say, here's exactly what you need to do. Let's work through that checklist, right? And so the checklist, and you kind of nailed it. You know, it's, it's stuff like getting your ADV in order, right? Making sure you've got part one and two and, and three now with form CRS, um, ensuring that those are all completely consistent. Um, the ADV is a really critical one in that there's a lot of areas that advisors can trip up. And so working with a consultant to make sure they don't trip up is, is, is paramount, right? So stuff like conflicts of interest, disclosure, um, making sure that the business is, is accurately described, most critically using plain English, right? So the SEC is really clear on how it hates uh, if they don't understand something, um, you know, not, not to go too off topic, but I've been through dozens and dozens of regulatory exams. The, the key takeaway is always you want your examiner understanding your business. If they don't understand your business, you're in trouble. And so thinking through those types of things with a compliance consultant is going to be super critical. Um, getting your IMA in order, right? So your investment management agreement, some people call it a client um, advisory agreement. Um, ensuring that the fee schedule that's attached to that a client agreement actually reconciles with the ADV. These are really important things for advisors to think about. Now, the, the second kind of practice tip that I give is um, ensuring that you are knowledgeable about this stuff, right? So when, you know, the temptation might be, okay, I want to go independent. I've lined up my compliance consultant and now um, I'm done, right? I get to wipe my hands clean and, and, yeah. and move on and I can start calling my clients and, and figuring out what's my transition plan going to be. Um, that's a huge mistake, right? What, what you want to do is get knowledgeable. Um, and I really don't think it takes more than a couple of weekends. You know, the, the 1940 Investment Advisors Act um, has been so... Uh, condense now into, you know, you, you throw a rock in your hip, sort of 50 guidance papers on, um, on Google on, uh, you know, here's everything that you need to know. Here's how it operates. Here's how it, it works. Um, the, the goal that I uh, really encourage advisors to shoot for as they think about going independent with respect to all of their legal and compliance responsibilities is to get to the point where, you know, that you don't know things, right? So, um, you know, there's this psychological kind of learning curve called the the Dunning-Kruger effect, right? Which is, you know, the the less you know about something, the the more competent you think you are in it. But then as you begin to study it, you realize there's this whole world of things that you don't know. Just get to that point, right? You don't need to be an expert in compliance, but once you get to that point, you know, whenever XYZ issues come up, I can pick up the phone and call my compliance consultant and they can give me a hand. Thank you for watching another episode of Short Takes. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe on our YouTube channel at Altruist.